Police in Guinea Grass have detained one man living in the village in connection with recent acts of graffiti in public and private places located within the village. The village council took the matter to Facebook earlier this week and they say they are not prepared to have vandals take over their community. Elmer Cornejo reports. At least one man has been taken into police custody after an act of vandalism against public property was committed in the village of Kinnegrass in the Orangewalk district. The sign that seems to be used is that of the Varos Locos. Varos Locos is a Chicano slang term that means crazy dudes. It is also used as the name of multiple small gangs around the USA, Canada and Mexico and as of a decade or two now, it is believed some of its members have made their way into Belize. For residents of Guinea Grass, the sign sprayed on this small store in the village is a show of disrespect to private property. This one is at a community center, while this one is at a football field in the village. Right across the street on the walls of this unfinished wall was also stained with the veal sign. The village chairman says the act of vandalism must stop immediately. Just, you know, um, people like, you know, they're just doing that for showing that they want to control an area or I, that's what i think no it's not against uh, the council no it's just bodies or whatever they we need to put now it's not mischievous of them but, but police are putting all the law for them so that i hope they, they charge them and they stop this um, vandalism we recently noticed that um, the graffiti colors attention no? and um, the police also inform us that there's some graffiti in different public places and then when we did find out we went around and we saw that at the um, complex the multi-purpose they have the vl vatos locos and that's what uh, we understand that the sign um, upstairs at the multi-purpose at the football field um, the police officer informed us that a van was also um, put that sign, the VL, and there is a business going to our shipyard that they have that sign also. Um, we did our formal report to the police officers as council, no? because that's our public places. We did that report. Also, the, um, the chair lady from the water board, she did her report because also upstairs, the, the tank, they have that um, graffiti in that area. Also, she did her report. According to Guinea Grass Village Chairman Benito Uk, the person accused of pasting the VL sign across the community came from Central America and his family is now living in Guinea Grass. I want to inform them that that's um, vandalism. It's, it's um, against the law. We need to um, put more effort in um, addressing that issue with those young individuals. Um, since I am chairman, I'm going for second term, we have not seen any of those um, vandalism, graffiti in our area. Just about two or three weeks ago, we noticed that those, um, it's a small group, like two or three individuals that doing that um, type of um, vandalism in, um, in our area, in our village. The information that I gather from the officer in charge in, from Guinea Grass, it said that they have already detained a person from our village and they are investigating. Many Vatos Locos use the colors red, black, green or brown. Police are still looking for others in connection with this latest incident. Elmer Cornejo, CTV3 News. Police are currently actively seeking two other suspects they believe are responsible for these incidents.